Now, here's two scriptures for you. I want to show you something. Psalm 47, verse 7. For the king, God is the king of all the earth. Sing, zamar him with understanding. Zamar. Zamar means play instruments and celebrate him. So he's saying, God is the king of all the earth. Zamar him with understanding. King David says, do, when you sing and you play instruments, do it with understanding. He didn't say do it skillfully. He didn't say do it professionally. He didn't say do it to entertain. He said do it with understanding. Now look at what the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 15. 1 Corinthians 14 and 15. This is the revelation now. Now you're going to get into the realm of revelation. Everything I've told you so far is very simple. People have preached it. You know it. The Holy Spirit lives in you. It's in your innermost being. God gave you glory. He lives within you. But now the revelation starts to come. David says, when you zamar the Lord, do it with understanding. Paul says, 1 Corinthians 14, 15, what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. There's something that we have to understand about singing and making music. To make his praise glorious, as David said, make his praise glorious, there's more going on than entertaining God. There's more going on than getting professionals to play. You know, there are many churches that they hire musicians. Saved or unsaved, they don't care. They just want to have some music in the house. So they will hire organ players or piano players. They can be anybody, but they need music. But they're not worshiping God. How can an unbeliever bring forth glory? How can an unbeliever zamar the Lord? How can they worship him in spirit and in truth? It can't happen. And so the people mistake music for worship. Music is not worship unless it's done in spirit and in truth with understanding.